If I wasn't a Christian, I think I'd probably be calling Master Sakura at my God right now. And I would just pray to him, and I would just praise him every single day. But no, I gotta be a Christian. Oh well. But hey, he can be my fake God. Here's your Nintendo E3 coverage with Gravity the Ghost. Hey guys, uh, I'm Gravity the Ghost, and oh my gosh. Stacker, I dropped the bomb on us today. He just did, he just went all out rock bar on us. Like, whew. Bam. I, I don't even, right now I'm still surprised about all this. Um, like, that, it, it's just hard, it's just like hard to explain how surprised I was by everything. So basically, um, so basically the, the live stream that was coming on today was, uh, talking about uh, all the new content that was to be expected besides Lucas, Neva, Stage, and uh, Splatoon DLC. Obviously, that wouldn't be the only game they wanted to talk about. So the trailer started, so the video started off with a brand new review trailer from Roy from Fire Emblem. Or from Super Smash Bros. Melee for those of you Melee fans. Honestly, I don't like Roy, so I didn't buy him. Um, I'm not... I'm not a fan of three marks in one thing. I know a fire sword does not influence me. No. No. And uh, along with that, Sakurai is there in his usual place from the <laughs> from his usual area. Uh, and uh, basically, he tells us about all the content that is to come. Well, he tells us about Roland. He does give us information about differences from Smash Bros. Melee and all that stuff. And then he states that he's coming out on the same day as Lucas, which is today, June 14. Uh, and, uh, yeah. I was so excited. Then he went on to the, uh, to, uh, Me Fighter costumes, and, uh, he got, there were more, um, there were more DLC costumes besides Angel. We had an Isabel one from Animal Crossing. Apparently it's a gunner and you're using the uh, the hopper thing as a gun? That's really weird. Yep, but they still didn't confirm KK Slider or the Moon Fighter costume to be coming out in any same soon, unfortunately. Oh well. Yeah, then we still the Inkling costume. Um, wait, yeah, the England costume and the England costume, you know, boy and girl, both are the same one for the whole 75 cent price. And they had the squid Moon Fighter costume, well, not costume, well, but Moon Fighter hat. I'm a kid and a squid, or both. Um, and then we also had some other crossovers from Sega, from a fighting game from Sega and a fighting game from Capcom. We'll get to Capcom later. But first, the fighting game from, uh, Sega, which is Virtua Fighter. I have never heard of that game ever. Apparently, it's supposed to be a legendary fighting game or something. I don't know. They had one based off of a, based off of a, based off of the retro like blocky 3D designs, and another of the uh, of the modern designs. I like the blocky 3D one, but I'm not buying it because I don't know the series and I don't want to, yeah, I don't want stuff, whatever. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> Yeah, I think I was expecting more like Nintendo crossover than maybe a Sonic the Hedgehog crossover costume, but whatever. Nah, eh, whatever. And then Sakurai went on to stages. Um, so we got two stages confirmed. We got a stage from for confirmed to be also coming out today, which was Dreamland on the N64. And then Sakurai just dropped another bomb confirming that two more N64 stages will be coming. Hyrule Castle, and uh, and uh, I believe it's called, uh, wait, yeah, I honestly don't know which stage that's called, but I believe it's called Peach Castle or something, I'm not sure, I have to go look that up, but it's, it's the Mario stage from 64, that wasn't, it wasn't the Lockwood one, um, yeah, but we don't know when those will be coming out, we only know when Dream Land is coming out, and, it's, and the stages are $2 each, that's actually kind of what I expected. I was expecting either two or three dollars, and we got two, which is good enough because it's a lower price. <clears throat> and then uh, Stacker, I talked about the Miiverse stage, Wii U only, unfortunately. 
and then he went on to tourney mode, which uh, also will be coming today, I believe. And uh, basically how everything will be set up and all that. And then he dropped the bomb. There was, he said there will be a future update for only in the Wii U version. <coughs> Why can't the fruit just get stuck? Come on. Especially for this one, where you get the ability to upload your replays to YouTube. I just... I... I, I cried, I like mentally cried, and I was mentally sort of pissed at Sakurai for that. <laughs> now you make me want to have a Wii U, but I don't I don't have the money for a Wii U. What is this madness? Me Sakurai, come on, I love you, but really, stop, stop. Give me the 3DS version something, please. Please. And then he went to Amiibo, where four, well actually five more Amiibo were confirmed being, I believe this, almost, pretty much almost the last amount of Amiibo, the last batch of Amiibo, which is Duck Hunt, uh, Falco, the Rob, Mr. Game Watch, and the Mies. Apparently all three Mies are getting one separate, a separate for each, um, version of the Mii Fighters. Brawler, Fur Fighter, and Gunner. Um, <clears throat> but the Mr. Game Watch Amiibo, oh, I'm so excited for that. You get three different, you get three different custom, um, places to put on your amiibo since the Mr. Game, as you know, Mr. Game Watch is flat. So it's going to be a flat amiibo, but you get multiple choices to choose what kind of thing you want to put on your Mr. Game Watch amiibo. I will get, I'm keeping my Mr. Game Watch amiibo on nine, nine all day, nine, 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 <laughs> nine. <laughs> But also, they say they're also thinking about doing the amiibo, making amiibo for all the DLC characters as well. So that's wonderful, and have a good time trying to look for those. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll probably put be putting my money towards Mr. Game & Watch Amiibo, Duck Hunt um, Amiibo, and the Rob Amiibo, and probably the Mii, Mii Brawler, as it's my favorite Mii character. Um, yeah. So yeah, looks like we'll be wasting more of our money on Amiibo. Thanks a lot, Nintendo. And finally, boom, Ryu from Street Fighter confirmed for Smash, and we got a brand new stage for it, and we got um, a me a me fighter costume from um from Bandai Namco's Tekken series. I don't remember the, the character's name, but it, it looked it looked pretty nice. But yeah, Street Fighter Ryu, Ryu confirmed. We got new stages, new stage from it, and they they also pretty much made it made it Ryu seem as Street Fighter as possible. Um, if you put input the actual, if you input the actual the um button controls for his specials, they will be stronger. And then if you put in certain certain positions, I do not memorize any of them. You get a stronger, you get an even stronger move. Like what? And this, Ryu has two final smashes, depending on how you activate it. If you activate it with no one next to him, it's going to be a Shinku Hadouken, but if you do it right like right next to an opponent, it'll be a Shin Choryuken. That's pretty interesting. I was actually expecting him to only have one final smash, probably, um, probably like a just Hadouken, or maybe a giant Choryuken, either one. But they did too. I guess it's probably a reference to most, pretty much most of Street Fighter games these, lately. Like, um, you can choose between two of your, like, special finishers or whatever. <clears throat> that was pretty cool. And also, well, I bought Ryu, uh, so yeah, right when I was finished all watching all that, I bought Ryu, Lucas, Kirby Dream Man Stage, Zaku Castle, Aethan Costume. It burned a hole in my eShop account. Ouch. And, uh, <clears throat> I was playing as Ryu in classic mode and such, and I noticed that um, there were certain changes that were pretty nice. Um, like the, you know, at the end of your when you're doing the uh, character, when you're doing the uh, credits, when it says congratulations, it shows congratulations in a different, um, a different like font or design or whatever, reminiscent to Street Fighter, I guess. I, I thought that was pretty cool. And probably one of my favorite things about Ryu. His, his spike, his spike is one of the only spikes, it's probably the only, I think it's the only spike in Smash Bros. where you get spiked diagonally. 
It means that your kid used to be a panic and get a little kind of hard time trying to recover. That is probably one of the most satisfying spikes to ever pull up that I ever wanted, wanted to pull off. I love it so much. Uh, so I have one thing to say. Thank you, Sakurai. Thank you, Big Sakurai. We love you. And to everyone else who are who's buying all these characters or haven't heard about these characters, oh my gosh, you are in for a treat. But the, but the million dollar question here is, will they be tournament legal? I'm Brad and Bill's for Get On Channel, and I'll see you guys later. Woo-ba-doo-doo! -doo.